welcome students we are discussing the chapter the little girl and here little girl refers to kezia in the previous part we have seen the activity of father when he was moving towards somewhere places when he moved out of his house then what was his activity that is described in the previous part and later on we have also seen the condition of the little girl when he when she was before her father she was not able to speak properly she stutters when she was before her father she was able to speak before anyone in a proper way but she stutters before her father and uh, to her to her here means to kezia her father was a giant so on sunday afternoons grandmother sent her down to the drawing room to have a nice talk with father and mother so grandmother inspired or encouraged kezia to go and talk with your parent your father and mother now she moved towards the drawing room where father and mother were present but the little girl always found mother reading and father stretched out on the sofa his handkerchief on his face his feet on one of the best cushions sleeping soundly and snoring so here grandmother encouraged kezia to go and talk with your parents father and mother whenever she went to talk with her father and mother she found that father was lying on the sofa putting his handkerchief on the face and putting his legs on the cushions and mother was reading the newspaper mother was reading something now she sat on a stool gravely gravely here means seriously watched him until he woke and stressed and asked the time then looked at her so now here you see kezia had come to talk with her father and mother but father and mother were busy in their work she watched her father seriously gravely but little after some time he woke up and stretched his body and asked the time at this time he looked at kezia don't stare so kezia you look like a little brown owl that was the remark made by father one day when she was kept indoors with a cold her grandmother told her that father's birthday was next week and suggested she should make him a pillow cushion for a gift out of a beautiful piece of yellow silk so now grandmother also gave information to kezia that in the next week there was a birthday of your father now you should give one gift to him and she suggested her to make a gift with the help of pen cushion so in stand number 4 we have seen that the activity of kejia when he was when she was before her father and mother and later on we see that grandmother has informed kejia that in coming week there was birthday of her father so she should give some gift to her father now laboriously with her double cotton 
laboriously him here means with a lot of effort with a double cotton the little girl is stitched three sides but to but what to fill it with that was the question meaning is this she had a cotton and she uh, stitched the three sides of the cotton and now the question is what should be in the this cushion that was the question the grandmother was out in the garden and she wandered into mother's bedroom to look for scraps scraps here means small pieces of cloth or paper etc that are needed the scraps here means small pieces of cloth on the bed table she discovered she found a great many sheets of fine paper gathered them up tore them into tiny pieces and stuffed her case case here he refers to the pin cushion then sewed up the fourth side so this was the activity of kgia kgia had a intention kgia had an intention of giving a present a gift to her father for this she had made a cushion and she filled the cushion with the help of the piece of the small papers and she found the small papers in Uh, mother's bedroom she collected it she tore it and finally put all the tiny pieces into the pin cushion and stitched the four side so this is the uh, activity of uh, kgia that night there was a hue and cry in the house father was angry he was crying father's great speech for the port authority had been lost that's why he was making hue and cry that's why there was a hue and cry in the house because uh, father had lost the speech for the port authority rooms were searched servants questioned finally mother came into kezia's room kezia i suppose you did not see some papers on a table in our room she said oh yes i tore them up for my surprise mother screamed what come straight down to the dining room this is that now in pair number 5 we have seen the activity of kgia who has prepared a gift for her father in the preparation of the gift kgia had torn the page and that page is father's great speech for the port authority when father came to the house then there was a hue and cry because father had lost the speech for the port authority now the rooms were searched servants were asked but the speech for port authority was not found finally mother contacted kezia and asked kezia have you seen some papers on the table then kezia says yes i have seen i have torn those pages then mother cried what you have done come straight down to the dining room dining table 
Dining room at once. Come and stand. Immediately you come. So here on panel five we see that the Asia is father to give to the father for the purpose of being present. And what is being present in the inside? What is being stuffed? रखे जाएं तो मदर के रूम में जाती हैं वहाँ कुछ पेजेस को मिलते हैं टेबल पे उन पेजेस को टॉन करती है और फाइनली उसको पिन कुसन को उससे फिल अप कर देती है फादर घर आते हैं और पूरी तरह से चिल्लाते हैं क्योंकि वो जो है जो स्पीच है जो कि पोर्ट अथॉरिटी के लिए था वो खो गया था सारे रूम्स खोजे गए सर्वेंट्स क्वेश्चन किए गए लेकिन जो है मदर फादर को स्पीच मिली नहीं तो फाइनली मदर जो है केजिया के रूम आती है उससे पूछती है कि हैव यू फाउंड सम पेज पेपर्स ऑन द टेबल सी से यस एंड फाइनली सी वाज कॉल्ड नाउ सी वाज ड्रैग्ड सी वाज ड्रैग्ड डाउन टू where father was pacing to and fro to and fro means moving without any purpose that is to and fro so finally she was dragged she was pulled see here you first kg was pulled down to where father was pacing pacing it means moving to and fro hands behind his back he said sharply well mother explained He stopped and stared at the child. Did you do that? She whispered. No, no, no. Mother, go up to her room and fetch down the damn thing. See that the child's put to bed this instant. So father asked Kajia angrily. Now he started stuttering. Mother says, "Okay, go up to her room." Father says, "Okay, go up to her room and bring down, fetch down that damn thing. See that the child's put to bed this instant." Crying too much to explain, she lay in the shadowed room, watching the evening light make a sad little pattern on the floor. She was crying. KJ was crying to explain. Then father came into the room with a ruler in his hands. He said, "Father said, I am going to beat you for this." She screamed, "No, no, no!" Hiding under the bed clothes, she was trying to hide herself under bed clothes. He he pulled them aside. Now he pulled. He ordered, "Sit up, sit up. Hold your hands. You must be taught once and for all not to touch what does not belong to you." The father was teaching Kajia that you should not touch those things which do not belong to you. But it was father. But it was for your birthday. Here Kajia was trying to explain why she has torn those papers. down came the ruler on her little pink palms so finally here kezia was beaten by her father for tearing the speech tearing the pages the papers which were lying on the table in mother's room So here you see, Kezia has got punishment. Hours later, when grandmother had wrapped her in a shawl, rocked her in the rocking chair, the child clung to her soft body. Means, grandmother had taken the child in her lap, in her arms. She was sitting on the rocking chair. And she was rocking her also. She sobbed. She was sobbing. Kajia was sobbing. What did God make fathers for? This was the question asked by 
के जी आर वाई गॉड हैज मेड फादर्स रिम्बर के जी आर हैज सीन द फियरफुल फिगर ऑफ अर फादर सी हैज सीन द हार्ड नेचर ऑफ अर फादर सो सी सेट टू हर ग्रैंड मदर वाट डिड गॉड मेक फादर्स फॉर Here is a clean hanky, darling. Grandmother is giving her hanky. Blow your nose. Go to sleep. Pet. Pet here refers to KGM. You will forget all about it in the morning. I tried to explain to father, but he was too upset to listen tonight. KGM is saying. That that I am trying to explain the reason why I have torn the papers, but father was not ready to listen. But the child never forgot. Next time she saw him, she quickly put both hands behind her back, and red color flew into her cheeks. Child has never forgot. एक्टिविटी ऑफ हर फादर हाउ हर फादर हैड पनिस्ड हर चाइल्ड शी सॉ हिम क्विकली एज द मोमेंट के जी आर सॉ हर फादर शी क्विकली पुट बोथ हैंड्स बिहाइंड हर बैक रेड कलर फ्लू इन टू हर चीक्स सो दिस इज द फियर ऑफ फादर The child was afraid of her father because she has been punished by her father for tearing the pages, the papers. Okay, thank you.